One point one. You wear them on your feet. They keep your feet warm. One. It's in the sky. At night, it's yellow. Two. They live in fields and on farms. People ride them. Three. She rules a country. You see her on coins and stamps. Four. It's small. It's green. It will change into a butterfly one day. Five. It keeps you safe in the car. One point two. You wear them on your feet. They keep your feet warm. One. It's in the sky. At night, it's yellow. Two. They live in fields and on farms. People ride them. Three. She rules a country. You see her on coins and stamps. Four. It's small. It's green. It will change into a butterfly one day. Five. It keeps you safe in the car. Two point one. One hat. Two hats. One. One face. Two faces. Two. One knife. Two knives. Three. One brush. Two brushes. Four. One leaf. Two leaves. Five. One fly. Two flies. Six. One tomato. Two tomatoes. Seven. One donkey. Two donkeys. Eight. One apple. Two apples. Two point two. Z. Flowers. Potatoes. Ponies. Keys. Shelves. S. Cats. Rocks. Ships. Is. Buses. Dresses. Boxes. Two point three. Flowers. Flowers. Noses. Noses. Weeks. Weeks. Cars. Cars. Fives. Fives. Places. Places. Hats. Hats. Lips. Lips. Brushes. Brushes. Cups. Cups. Doors. Doors. Horses. Horses. Books. Books. Pages. Pages. Rooms. Rooms. Two point four. I'm a man. They're men. 
One. It's a mouse. They're mice. Two. It's a photo. They're photos. Three. She's a child. They're children. Four. He has one tooth. I have thirty teeth. Five. He has one fish. I have six fish. Six. I can see one woman. He can see four women. Seven. You can see one person. I can see three people. Eight. This is a radio. These are radios. Nine. Ow, my foot. Ow, my feet. Ten. One sheep. One hundred sheep. Two point five. The men. One. The goose. Two. The cups. Three. The foxes. Four. The butterfly. Five. The women. Six. The stars. Seven. The knife. Eight. The necklace. Nine. The shelves. R one point one. How does Harry travel to school? How do you travel to school, Harry? By bus. I walk to the bus stop and I take two buses to get to school, and then two buses home again in the afternoon. Two buses each way. Yes, the number forty-eight and the three. One. What does Harry see? Is it an interesting journey? Hmm. Well, you can see fields and houses from the bus. Just fields and houses. Yes. Two. Who is on the bus in the morning? Are the buses busy? No, not really. On the first bus in the morning, it's just me and an old woman. No one else. No, just me and an old woman. Three. Who does Harry talk to? What about on the second bus? The second bus in the morning is always busy. Do you talk to anyone? Yes, I sit with my friends and I talk to them. Four. Who does Harry travel home with? Do you travel home with the same people? No, but my friend Lee takes the same bus home, and I sit with her. Five. Who does Harry meet at the bus stop? Do you walk home from the bus stop? No, my mum meets me in the car and she drives me home. She gets you from the bus stop. Yes, that's very kind of her. I know. Three point one. There's some bread in the bag. One. I can see some birds. Two. There's snow on those mountains. Three. There are two men on the boat. Four. Would you like some ice in your drink? Five. I want some free time. 
Six. You've got tomato sauce on your face. Seven. I love rain. Eight. This furniture is very nice. 3.2 Tell me about your city, Millville. Well, it's got a lot of good shops. So is it a good place to live? Oh, yes. And there are some mountains near Millville. So you're in the city, but you can always see some mountains. Are there a lot of green spaces in the city? There aren't a lot of green spaces, but we do have some parks and trees. Is there a big city park? No, we don't have any big parks, just some small green spaces. I guess there's a lot of traffic in Millville. Oh yes, there are a lot of cars, buses, motorbikes, a lot of traffic, yes. And is there a lot of pollution? Yes, there is. There's a lot of pollution in the air from all the traffic. And a lot of litter too. No, you know... There actually isn't any litter on the streets. There isn't any litter at all. That's hard to believe. It's true. People don't drop litter. That's one really good thing about my city. 3.3 Tell me about your city, Millville. Well, it's got a lot of good shops. So is it a good place to live? Oh, yes. And there are some mountains near Millville, so you're in the city, but you can always see some mountains. Are there a lot of green spaces in the city? There aren't a lot of green spaces, but we do have some parks and trees. Is there a big city park? No, we don't have any big parks, just some small green spaces. I guess there's a lot of traffic in Millville. Oh, yes. There are a lot of cars, buses, motorbikes, a lot of traffic, yes. And is there a lot of pollution? Yes, there is. There's a lot of pollution in the air from all the traffic. And a lot of litter too. No, you know, there actually isn't any litter on the streets. There isn't any litter at all. That's hard to believe. It's true. People don't drop litter. That's one really good thing about my city. 3.4 Have you got any family in other countries? No, but I've got some friends in Italy. 1. I need some old family photos for a school project. There are some old photos in that box. 2. Have you got any gold jewellery? No, I've got some silver rings, but I haven't got any gold jewellery. 3. I need some shampoo. Can I use some of yours? I haven't got any, but you can have some of my soap. 4.1 1. Can I have one of those, please? One of these chocolate cakes? Yes, please. Two. What on earth is that? It's a daddy long legs. What's that? Three. Are those your trainers? Yes. Well, pick them up, please. Four. What are those lights in the sky? I don't know. Maybe they're UFOs. Five. Right. This is your classroom. OK. Good morning, Miss Snyman. Hello. This is Ben. Hello, Ben. Hello. That's your seat over there, Ben. You can sit down. Thank you. Six. Can you put these in the fridge, please? What are they? Shellfish. You know, seafood. I can see that, but what kind? These are mussels and those are clams. Oh, right. 
This is the door. Those ducks. One. These things. Two. That zebra. Three. This is the key. Four. Those are their dogs. Five. Are these vases? Six. That's the bathroom. 4.3 How much is this hat? One. Those fish are beautiful. Two. What are those red flowers? Three. Mmm, these are delicious. Four. What does that sign say? Five. Could you help me with these boxes? R2.1 What do you and your family have for breakfast, Julia? Well, we all have very different things. I have my breakfast at seven o'clock and I don't eat very much. I have some orange juice and a piece of bread with jam. My grandparents make lots of cooked food for breakfast, but I don't have any of that. Oh, right. What do your grandparents have for breakfast then? My grandpa has a cup of coffee, an egg, mushrooms and some beans. He and my grandma have breakfast later than me at about nine o'clock. Does your grandma eat all that for breakfast too? No, she just has an egg and beans. She has coffee with her meal and some water too. She always feels thirsty in the morning. What about your mum and dad? Mum leaves the house very early for work in the morning. She doesn't have any breakfast at home. There are some cafes near her office, so she gets a cup of coffee at one of those. She has some biscuits with the coffee too, I think. And your dad? Dad's very healthy. He gets up early and goes running, then he comes home and has breakfast. He has fruit and toast. He doesn't have any butter or jam on the toast. Just toast. Brown toast. Does he have tea or coffee with that? No, he has a large glass of water. You've got a sister, haven't you? Yes, I have. She's called Beth. She only eats this for breakfast. It's cereal. She has a bowl of this with lots of milk. That's all. She doesn't drink any juice or tea or coffee. And what about your brothers, Seth and James? Seth has pancakes and water and James likes a small breakfast. He only has one egg and coffee. R3.1 It's lovely to have you on the show. Thank you. What are you going to make for us today? It's a mixed fruit smoothie. Mmm, that sounds good. Is it a drink? No, not really. It's a snack. A delicious snack for any time of the day. Is it a healthy snack? Oh, yes. And the other great thing is, it's very easy to make. It really doesn't take much time and you only need four ingredients. OK. So, are you going to show us how to make it? I am. Right. First, you need a handful of strawberries. Mmm, I love strawberries. Me too. And there's a lot of them in the shops at this time of year. Put them in a food processor and add some other pieces of fruit. Bananas or peaches are perfect. So, you cut the fruit into pieces and put the pieces into the food processor with the strawberries. That's right. 
Now add a small pot of yogurt. You're using natural yogurt. That's right, but you can use fruit yogurt if you want. And finally, a spoonful of honey. Just one spoonful. Yes, that's right. Now switch the food processor on. Pour the smoothie into two glasses, and there you are. Two glasses of mixed fruit smoothie. Fantastic! Thank you. Can I try it? Sure. Go ahead. Mmm, that's delicious. R three point two. What has Bev got? What are those? Photos. Can I see them? Yes, of course. They're photos of Tyndall Island. That's where my grandma lives. There are a lot of sheep on the island. I haven't got a lot of photos, I'm afraid, but you're welcome to see them. One. What weather do they usually have on the island? The trouble is, there aren't many sunny days on the island. No. No, they don't get much sun on the island. They don't get much rain either, but there are a lot of cloudy days. That's a shame. Yes. Two. Which is Bev's grandma? Is this your grandma? No, that's my aunt. Have you got a photo of your grandma? No, I haven't got any with me now. She's really old. She's got a lot of white hair, and she hasn't got many teeth. Do you stay with her on the island? Three. Which is the island hotel? No, she hasn't got a big house, and there are a lot of us in my family. We always stay at the island hotel. It's a really big hotel, and it's got a lot of rooms. This is the view. It looks onto the lake. Oh yes, that's very nice. Five point one. They make everything yellow. One. Water makes things wet. Two. Exercise makes me tired. Three. Yoga makes people calm and relaxed. Four. Bad drivers make him angry. Five. The sun makes her happy. Five point two. Those will make you ill. One. It makes food sweet. Two. They make her angry. Three. It makes you thirsty. Four. These make us strong. Five. These things make people fat. Five point three. Those will make you ill. One. It makes food sweet. Two. They make her angry. Three. It makes you thirsty. Four. These make us strong. Five. These things make people fat. Five point four. Boo! <gasps> did I make you jump? Yes, you did. One. Excuse me, could you wait here a minute? Me? Yes, I need to check your bags. Oh, okay. Two. Adam. Come here. What is it? Look at that bird in the tree. It's beautiful. Ah,、oh, no, it's flown away now. 
That was your fault. Three. Did you like the book? Yes, it made me laugh. Really? It made me cry. It was so sad. Oh, I thought it was funny. Four. Be careful. Don't ride so near me. Sorry. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. I'm so, so sorry. No, it wasn't your fault. There was something on the path. Really? Oh. Well, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Five. Would you like some pepper on your pasta? Yes, please. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, thank you. It was a pepper. Six. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Hmm? What are you smiling about? We're watching a video clip on the internet. Look, the dogs are dancing to music. <laughs> oh, yes. I suppose that is quite funny. Five point five. He made her jump. He made her jump. Five point six. It's made of wood. One. They're made of metal. Two. It's made of glass. Three. It's made of paper. Four. They're made of wool. Five. It's made of snow. Six. They're made of leather. Seven. It's made of rubber. Five point seven. It's made of wood. One. They're made of metal. Two. It's made of glass. Three. It's made of paper. Four. They're made of wool. Five. It's made of snow. Six. They're made of leather. Seven. It's made of rubber. Six point one. Hi, Fred. Hi, Amy. Hello. I've got some questions about games. I want to know what you like and don't like doing, OK? Yes. yes. The first question is about painting. Amy, do you like painting? Yes, I do. I like painting colourful pictures. How about you, Fred? No, I don't. I hate painting. I always get paint on my clothes. Oh, right. What about computer games, then? Do you like playing them? I love playing computer games. And you, Amy? I don't love playing them, but yes, I like playing computer games. They're OK. Now, basketball. Do you like playing basketball? Yes, I do. I love playing basketball. Yes, I like playing basketball too. Like or love? Um, like. And finally, do you like playing other ball games? Football, tennis, things like that? Yes, I do. I love playing ball games and my friends do too. Amy? No, I don't. I don't like any other ball games. Amy, Fred, thank you very much. <laughs> You're, You're welcome. welcome. 6.2 What's the matter, Sam? I don't want to go to the supermarket. I'm too tired. Come on, 
It won't take long. OK. 1. What do you want to do this evening, Jenny? Do you want to go out? No, I'd like to stay at home and watch a DVD. OK, that's fine with me. 2. Would you like to sit down? No, it's OK. I'm happy to stand. 3. What do you want to be when you grow up, Charlie? I'd like to be an astronaut. Would you like to be a teacher, like me? No. 4. Would you like to be a doctor, Ben? Yes, but I wouldn't like to work in a big hospital. I don't like hospitals. Oh, right. 5. What about all these footballers, Alex? They get a lot of money, don't they? Yes, and they get a lot of attention too. I'd like to be rich, but I wouldn't like to be in the newspapers and on TV all the time. You don't want to be famous then? No, not me. 6. Why don't you speak to the teacher about it, Sue? Mm, no, I can talk about it with my friends. 6.3 I don't want to go to bed. I want to watch a film. I don't want to sit down. Do you want to go out? I wouldn't like to live here. Would you like to be a doctor? 6.4 I'd like to go to the beach. Me too, but I don't want to go in the sea. 1. Do you want to stop for lunch? No, I'm OK, thanks. But I'd like to have a cold drink. 2. I don't want to go to school tomorrow. Nor me. I don't want to do that exam. 3. I'd like to have lots of money. Me too. I'd like to be rich and famous. 6.5 He loves jumping. He loves climbing. He doesn't like lying. Doesn't like running about. She'd like to be a scientist or maybe a spy. She wants to help him sort things out. Seven point one. Three. Four.
Five. La 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 la. La 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 la. Six. <coughs> Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. 7.2 Is this glass? It feels like plastic. One. Is this strawberry ice cream? It tastes like raspberry. Two. What's that music? Is it Mozart? It sounds like Beethoven. Three. Is this T-shirt green or brown? It looks brown. Four. What's that animal? Is it a rabbit? It looks like a mouse. 7.3 I went paintballing at the weekend. What's that? It's a game. You play it in teams. We were outside in the trees. You run and hide behind a tree and you try to hit people on the other team with paint. I'd like to do that. It sounds really good. It is. It's really fun. Does it feel horrible? When the paint hits you, I mean. No, it's OK. It doesn't sound much fun to me. One. I can see something really strange over there. Look, big white balls rolling down a hill. Can you see people inside them? Oh, yes, I can. Wow! They're zorbing. That looks really good fun. Two. What's that up in the sky? It looks like a great big kite or a bird. No, it's a paraglider. Can you see the person sitting under it? Oh, wow, yes. That looks fun. Do you think so? It looks scary to me. I wouldn't like to do that. Three. What's happening in that room? They're having a lesson in kirigami. It looks like origami, paper folding, but they cut the paper as well. You can see them making different things. Look through the window. Can you see? Oh, yes. Shall we try it? It's a free class. Mm, no, it doesn't look very interesting to me. I'm going to try it. It looks quite fun to me. OK. I'll see you later. See you. Four. What are those people doing? It looks like they're taking photos. They're train spotting. They write the numbers of the trains that they can see. That sounds boring. Well, some people like it. Five. Look at this picture. He looks like a cat. What's he doing? He's free-running. Some people call it parkour. A lot of people do it in this town. You can see them jumping from building to building or running on high walls. It's fantastic. It sounds really good. R4.1 Hello, Nathan. Thanks for filling in the first part of the application form. Now, I'd like to ask you some questions about your goals, likes and dislikes. OK. First of all, what kind of fitness programme would you like to join here? I mean, how long are you thinking of? Well, for now, I'd like to enrol for three months. OK, that's fine. You can extend your application after three months if you want to. 
OK. Tell me about your goals, Nathan. Why do you want to join a fitness programme here? Well, I really want to lose weight. I know it's important. I hear all this information on the news about fitness and health and it makes me worried because I'm not fit at all. Also, I'd like to get strong. Can a fitness programme make me strong? Of course. You can do part of your programme on the machines and that will make you strong. That sounds good. Now, let's talk about the fitness activities that you like doing at the moment. Well, I like walking and cycling. Walking and cycling. They're both good forms of exercise. Why do you like doing those things? I love being outside. I hate being inside the house and at school all day. Yes, it's always good to be outside and get some fresh air. Next question. Which sports activities don't you like doing? I don't like skiing or swimming. Really? Why don't you like skiing or swimming? Lots of people love doing those things. Because I hate getting cold. <laughs> ah, I see. Well, I think we can put a good fitness programme together for you, Nathan. And... R4.2 Good morning and welcome to the Marlon Museum. This morning, I'd like to show you a few of the items in our new exhibition. Some of these objects might surprise you. First, look at this hat. What do you think it's made of? Hmm, it looks like leather or cotton. Yes, it looks perfect, doesn't it? But it's actually made of wood. <laughs> really? Wow, that's amazing. Next, we have these shoes. They're very beautiful. They look like something from a fairy tale. Yes, they're made of glass. That doesn't sound very comfortable. No, but they're very beautiful. Look, even the laces are made of glass. Now, look at this armchair. What do you think it's made of? It looks like plastic or maybe rubber. Go a bit closer. Don't touch it, but smell it. What can you smell? Hmm, it, it smells like strawberry. No, raspberry. It smells of strawberry because it's made of strawberry jelly. <laughs> a chair made of jelly. That's weird. I like eating jelly, but I don't want to sit on it. Now, follow me into this small room. Look at this microwave oven. It looks like glass, like the shoes. But it feels cold in here. Is the microwave oven made of ice? It is. Well done. An oven made of ice. That's brilliant. Ovens are for making things hot, not cold. Now, in this room, we have some more surprising objects. Can you see that boxing glove? Is it made of leather? It looks like a normal leather boxing glove, but it's actually made of very thin paper and it's completely empty inside. You couldn't do any boxing with that then? No, definitely not. It looks strong and heavy, but it's actually very light and fragile. And finally, these handkerchiefs. What are they made of? Are they made of paper? No. Cotton? Silk? No. They're made of metal. Ugh. I wouldn't like to have metal handkerchiefs. That makes me feel horrible. I know what you mean. But they are rather beautiful, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs>